Okay guys, I did an update but it told me that there was like an audio problem or something. I didn't check the link out since I uploaded it, but yeah, not much that went on. Um, I'm probably going to do a makeup tutorial in this look right here. I did like a blue, um, what's my comment, uh, eyeshadow. And then I put on my black liquid, um, not liquid, um, cream, what is it called? Black gel liner, gel liner. I was thinking, it's not cream liner, it's something else. But yeah, gel liner. And then I put on different coats and kinds of mascara. So no, they're not falsies. I just put on a whole bunch of different kinds of mascara and it makes it look really thick. <laughs> yeah. And I did this this morning. I just kind of went in with my mascara and put it on a lot on now. And I put on my eyeshadow for my waterline. I know that sounds kind of weird to you that I put eyeshadow on my waterline, but that's because I don't really have like a good enough um, I can't think. Uh, eyeliner to put on my waterline, and for some reason, whenever I try, I just can't do it. I don't know if it's like just not gonna glide on easy enough or what, but yeah. I used, oh, without dropping it, <laughs> I used this little blue eyeshadow. How you see it is pretty much how it is. Call CQ. I never heard of that brand before. I got it for a cheap price, so I got it. And then I have my Hot Topic eyeshadow. It's just a really nice pearly kind of beet blue. And I put this on first, and then I put on that darker blue. So yeah, I did layer products. <laughs> Even my lip um lip color is like a lip stain with a lip gloss on top. So. Pretty much everything I have on is layered. And for my eyelashes, I put on my Alme Delicate first, then I put on my Colossal, and then I put on my Sexy Curves mascara and waterproof to kind of top it all off. And I really think by the brush, the curvy brush, it just kind of helped like whip all my lashes back into place of how they should be. I'm not really doing a tutorial, I guess it kind of shows you what I did and how I did it, but yeah. I'm just touching it up. And right now, I'm trying to find the actual eyeliner that I did use. It was a little Physicians Formula eyeliner. Here it is. That it came in a stack. I got them all for about four dollars at Ross a while ago as a set. I had a purplish, a green, and black that you stack on top of each other. Normally about twelve bucks, but I got them for about four at Ross. And this was the Naveen Glam Eye Edition one. They have ones for like brown eyes, blue eyes, hazel eyes, but this is the one I found and this is the one I bought. So I used my e.l.f. regular eyeliner brush into the black and I fixed it. And I also used this brush in my eyeshadow too. So this I actually came with its own little brush, so I did use that. I just used the angled for the eyeshadow. That way it kind of went on as an eyeliner, but it was more in precision. Um, precision is why I did that. It just kind of helped set it on more. I'm going to stop it. Oof. So I'm going to go in and fix Oh, and for the waterline, in case you're curious what I just used, I used my 
um, Elk Quad. It's in drama. You can get this at like the dollar store, Elf's website, Ross, anything. I use that really dark black on the waterline. I don't know if anybody else can really put eye shadow on the waterline, but that's what I did because I honestly suck at whatever kind of eye liner I had to try to put on the waterline. It just, just did not work out, so that's what I did. And I did use my Elf Natural palette. I used like a really white color into like the inner corner. I did the light blue on. Then I'm gonna go in with my Elf One Dollar Line Black brush, and I kind of go back and forth into the product. And the eyeliner doesn't honestly really need to be fixed because it pretty much stayed on all day. And just kind of helped it be a little bit more vibrant. But if you want it to be darker, you can pack on more product. I'm gonna probably have this for a while. There we go. And that's definitely more vibrant. You just have to pack on more product. I think it helped that I had the light blue as a base. Oh, dropping stuff. <laughs> Alright, now, gotta make sure your hair is out of the way. My friend is messaging me on Gaia. Well, technically Nebo, because. I'm on Nebo. You probably don't know what Nebo is. It's usually like if you're on my yearbook or playlist or any other kind of site like that, even Gaia, you have the little messaging thing and it's Nebo. A lot of sites use Nebo as the chatting thing. So yeah, like I said, my eyeliner doesn't really need to be reapplied. So that's pretty much it for that. And you can take any white eyeshadow or anything else that you want and put it in the inner corner. And that is what I am about to do. I am about to find the little palette I use. This is an elf palette that I have. It's volume one or no no, volume two. It's elf. That's not the palette I use though. I use the tiny little match palette I have. I just don't remember where I put it. <sighs> Aha. See? It says on the back, natural. It's very tiny. And this is probably my favorite palette from now. Especially because I got it for Ross at like two books. So yeah, pretty much all the colors are as shown. They're like all brown kind of gold colors and then there's that one white one that pops out. And I actually didn't use any on the brow bone surprisingly. So I'm gonna do that quick. Please don't stress if you don't have like any kind of like blue color like I do because you can do that with any color. And you can make the line thick or thin, whatever you prefer. Main reason why I did a vibrant color as this blue is because under this gray hoodie here I am wearing the dinosaur shirt so that's why 
I'm going to go. I am out of time. And hope you enjoy. Bye.